Hi, this is Shay with Trucks to Sales here today doing a comparison on uh, two different dump bodies from both from Hall Lane Manufacturing. Um, right in front of us here on our right we have the Boulder Lane dump body and on our left we have the load lane dump body from Hall Lane Manufacturing. Just going to go ahead and go over some of the options and purposes uh, behind these two beds as well as uh, get a good look at them. Uh, here so main difference between the two beds is the boulder lane is actually a complete half round uh, Dump body here. So inside that is a half pipe. That's uh, 48 inches um, deep is the standard depth on that and the uh, Load lane here is a square body. So it's basically square um, you can see on the sides there's some bends, so there's kind of a little uh, bubble there in the uh, center of the bed. Um, but both of these beds can be used for concrete chunks as well. So the boulder lane is primarily um, used for people who are hauling concrete chunks on a regular basis. Um, this bed is favored among people who get dispatched out, who sign up with dispatchers um, where they are just um, uh, hauling by the load typically. Um, concrete chunks, it's harder to damage and it's harder to overload. So because of this round shape, as you can see here in the front, you can really get the, uh, see the shape. It is harder to overload, so when the truck starts to get full, it looks full. Um, you still can, if you topped it off with um, sand or gravel or dirt, you could still probably get almost 20 tons in there, you know, going crazy on this thing. Um, but these typical Super 10s haul about 16 tons with the big block engine. Here we have a Peterbilt 386 um, model. So this one right here is just at about the 16 ton range. Um, one nice thing about these boulder lanes is we do have a weight saving option. Um, and it pretty much we eliminate the steel fenders on there and there's no frame and we actually have a video on that one as well um, where we're claiming to have the lightest weight um, rock hauling dump body uh, on the planet there so it's still the quarter inch steel so that's one thing on this uh, are the walls our standard thickness is quarter inch we can do three sixteenths but we don't really recommend that for uh, concrete chunks all day every day but if you wanted this round shape and you wanted to save a little weight as well you could do that with the three sixteenths but doing our uh, frameless style uh, where we eliminate the steel fenders on the side that you can save 1100 pounds and uh, saving 1100 pounds you still have the apron on there at the back that heavy-duty apron um, right there and it still has the cab guard so you could even take those two options off and get it a little lighter as well as a poly uh, ethylene hydraulic tank as well so um, those are some options we can save weight some people are really concerned with weight um, that's an option that we can do and this one as it sits even with that hitch plate um, like I said right at about 16 tons these beds weigh uh, very similar weight um, almost identical uh, this square one uses more steel and these ones we can uh, to lighten them up the only thing we can really do is put thinner steel so standard um, on the load lane dump body um, option prices on our website is a quarter inch floor and three sixteenths walls so that's good for plenty of concrete chunks and we don't do any side supports on these as you can see there's no side supports on the wall there because this hardened steel from hard ox holds its shape really well it has really good memory so when the concrete chunks smash against it uh, can absorb the shock through flexing and go back to its shape so um, that's so the 3 16 wall on the quarter floor is recommended for concrete chunks and you can see on the bottom of this floor there is no cross members so that floor right there that's the floor of uh, inside the bed as well so the only way really to get this one lighter is thinner steel so uh, if you wanted a sand and gravel option we could go down to 3 16 floor and eighth inch wall and that would what we'd recommend for sand and gravel you could put you know some broken asphalt pieces in there um, and maybe you know if you 
uh, put a little dirt down, concrete pieces, but really it's recommended for one foot minus pieces with the 3 16 floor and eighth inch walls. And then we have actually one thinner than that, which is makes this bed comparable to an aluminum bed where we can go down to four millimeter floor and two millimeter walls. And that's still out of this hardened hard ox steel. So compared to aluminum, you're gonna get a lot more uh, longevity out of the thin, super thin hard ox than you would aluminum. And the durability as well with a comparable um, weight bed. So that is an option um, as far as the thickness of the steel and we can go thicker. Um, you can go 3 8 floor, quarter inch wall, uh, basically as thick as you'd want on either of these beds. But when we jump up to the thicker steel on this boulder lane, we actually have a boulder lane extreme version of this where we change the top rail um, to a 3 quarter inch thick strap basically and we do the hoist um, outside. Whereas you can kind of see up there um, it has that uh, doghouse there um, right on top in there, if you can see that. So the hoist is inside the bed. On any of these dump bodies from Hauling Manufacturing, you can get uh, three different hoist options. You can get the hoist completely on the inside, as you can see with this, both of these dump bodies have the hoist on the inside, or you can get it half on the outside, uh, where there's just like a six inch speed bump basically in the front of the bed and that is a trunnion mount hoist or you can get the hoist completely outside. So for our boulder lane extreme we have the hoist completely outside and we have a strap there um, that we put instead of this top rail. But this top rail is really durable um, as you can see and we do it at an angle there um, so that dirt cannot sit on the top of the truck. Same thing with this uh, load lane here. I'll go ahead and climb up in there right now. Um, and we have this new ladder system, as you can see, for 2019. Nice, big, wide ladder rungs make it really uh, easy to climb here. So, so here's a look inside of this one. As you can see, it has the doghouse, Hardox 450 steel. Uh, most of this thicker hard ox steel is made in Alabama and the really thin stuff is made in Sweden. But as you can see, there's inside of the bed right there. Um, definitely nice option. Here we can see the round body right there. But that's zoomed in enough, but <laughs> there's inside of the round body. And you can see this has a high lift tailgate system on it as well. And you can see the top of that tailgate has an angle on it. So no dirt can sit on the tailgate either. Most other manufacturers have a square top on the tailgate, whereas you can see with these, they have uh, angled. So just trying to make it so no dirt sits up there on the tailgate. So even on this load lane, the tailgate is at an angle as well. Um, both of them, you can see they have that 7 8 plate for the arms on the uh, high lift tailgate system. Just very hard to damage, doesn't get tweaked out, doesn't require any grease. So we put that nice big two inch um, bushing as you can see on there, um, right there on the hinge, uh, which basically uh, if that were to wear out, you could put a slightly bigger pin in there, but that should last you years. We're talking 10 years of dumping without any grease. And even if that bushing did get wore out, you can call us up. We can send you um, the slightly larger bushing um, for right around $10. So it's just to eliminate grease and not have to uh, be greasing that point all the time or have a smaller bushing there that can get tweaked out where if you forget leave your high lift tailgate up in the air and you forget one day um, and you drive around with it off road the hinges can get tweaked but not on these beds from Hall Lane Manufacturing it's just definitely worth having that thick one piece hinge system as you can see 
um, right there. Just It's just made out of one solid piece. It's not two pieces welded together. Several other companies weld together square tubes and stuff like that. And that stuff just ends up needing repair in a year or two. That hinge is for the life of the bed. The average of the steel, the these beds with the hard ox steel, uh, the life expectancy is about 20 uh, years is definitely possible. Severe use, maybe 15 years, but it's definitely um, a long bed. Like this, this particular Peterbilt here that we're looking at, Peterbilt 348, is a brand new truck. So, um, uh, so this bed should really last the life of the truck. You know, especially if you're doing mixed usage of concrete chunks and um, dirt and stuff like that, and you're just not hauling giant boulders all day every day. So depending on the usage, um, this can be a bed that lasts the life of the truck, and that's certainly what we designed it to do. And another maintenance um, issue here that we uh, help to eliminate is the top of the cylinders here. So as you can see, uh, they have this access panel where typically the cylinder is greased um, during that time. Uh, you would need to open this up, but with these Hiva hoists, there's a bearing in the top of here. So there's no need to ever jump in here and grease that. Although you can check to see if these bolts have come loose. That's something that could be a problem. Obviously there's lock washers in there right now. Um, very rare um, for something like that to happen. But another nice feature that would just keep the maintenance very low. The only real maintenance this dump body needs is some grease at the bottom, you know, down below where the, uh, where the cylinder uh, mounts to the base. Does require some grease right there. So um, definitely a bunch of options to go with this. Another thing is you can see this one has the lights. Um, just talk about the lights now. So basically any light package you can think of, we can do. We have those little pinhole lights. Um, we can do these larger round lights on the top. We can do oval lights on the top, oval lights on the side, strobe lights, everything. So basically any light package that you can think of, we can do on either of these beds. Another popular light option on these boulder lanes is putting the oval lights in the side of the panel here, um, right here, where uh, hot asphalt um, won't burn them. Sometimes when you have the lights here, uh, hot asphalt can stack up and melt the lights, but it's pretty rare for concrete chunks to roll back and damage the lights. We have a cage option where we put this cage over top of each of these lights as well to help protect them, but it's just not really um, that necessary. Uh, the tops of all these beds can get sideboards. We can do steel sideboards or wooden sideboards on the top of the boulder lane or the um, load lane. There's just tons of options for each of these beds, but for the most part, um, bed vibrators, all that stuff, electric tarps, all the different tarp systems can go on either bed. Um, neither of these beds have uh, trench gates on them, but you can put a trench gate right here in the center. Um, you really can only get one trench gate on the boulder lane, but the um, load lane here can accommodate three trench gates because um, of its square shape. So you can get three uh, trench gates right on there in the back of this one. Um, well, since we're here, might as well look at this nice hitch plate here um, as well. And you can see it's adjustable two inches up two inches down. We put the uh, glad hands on the side there. Um, I'm not going to show too much of the hinge system, but it is the strongest in the industry. I haven't seen a hinge system stronger than these hall lane um, hinges. It just has more inches of weld. So I don't know if you've seen other people's beds rip off their trucks. That's definitely not going to happen on one of these hall lane beds um, because they're just so much so many inches of weld even tipping the truck over uh, I've never seen a bed rip off um, on one of these with this hinge system just really uh, nice super strong system um, and these cab guards you can see that's kind of our standard cab guard 18 inches that's on these um, they both have 18 inch cab guards we can do bigger cab guards we can do no cab guards we can do smaller cab guards lights in the cab guard um, just a bunch of options there on uh, both of these beds, highly customizable. That's really why we prefer these hall lane beds. They just offer so many custom options as well as custom beds. These are just 
um, two of the 12 different dump bodies made by Hall Lane Manufacturing. And uh, getting a custom bed um, is uh, pretty easy with these guys. So that's why we order them. And this is Shea with Trucks of Sales here. Um, I hope that answered a bunch of your questions. I know it's kind of a long video here, but you can go on our website and we're just building that uh, option page that we have so you can see the prices of all the options available for each of these beds under our dump body section there. So we, and we're trying to do a video on each option on these beds. So we have a video on the bed vibrators, video on the trench gates, video on the high lift tailgates, video on the electric tarp systems, all of that stuff on uh, our YouTube channel and prices for all of that stuff on our website. So thank you for viewing and uh, please visit our website at www.trucksofsales for more information. Thank you.